King Alant the Twelfth, by channeling the power of souls, brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is, until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valarfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. That the old King Alant had aroused the Old One, the great beast below the Nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the sane, and chaos reigns. Valarfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. But none have returned. Bjor of the Twin Fangs. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurver the Wanderer. The Sixth Saint Astraea and her knight Garl Vinland. And Sage Freyk the Visionary. The colorless deep fog slowly creeps beyond Boletaria's borders. Humankind faces a slow and steady extinction. The deep fog will eventually swallow all lands near and far. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior who has braved the baneful fog. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. So that you may lull the old one back to slumber.
strength be granted so the world might be mended. Soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. This is the Nexus. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. Thou canst not exit the Nexus, but each of the five arch stones will connect it. You slipped through the fissure too, did you? You came for demon souls? Or to save this land and be remembered as a hero? <laughs> Hunting for demons? Try one of the arch stones. Now go. That is why you came, is it not? To this accursed Boletaria?
You care to look over my wares? Mostly stolen, but who's telling you?
Be a brave knight or depraved slave, the demons will snatch your soul, then you'll go mad. And those who dare cling to their humanity are hunted down. It is the end of Great Boletaria as we know it. But hell, at least the demons don't send us to our deaths in battle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Come back soon. Please, help me. I am trapped, surrounded by dreglings. My thanks for your brave rescue. I am Ostrava of Boletaria. Accept this as a token of my gratitude.
Now, I must go. There is something for me to take care of.
The monumental awaits the above. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Still alive? I am impressed. This is something that might interest us. The black robed maiden of the Nexus looks after the flames. She's a morose type, with eyes occluded by wax. She can control souls like no other. Bring her the souls of men and demons, and she will embolden your flesh and blood with their power. But beware, do not devolve into a foul beast. We have long awaited you, Slayer of Demons. I am one of the Monumentals. We preserve the fabric of reality. There is something thou needest to know. Once, we too, a scourge of demons faced. In the distant past, under a benevolent rule, the world was united owing to the soul arts. Until a lust for power caused the awakening of the Old One. Across the land seeped a colorless deep fog, and the world faced extinction at the hands of the demons. Thanks be, we were able to lull the Old One back to his slumber yet only after the loss of innumerable souls and half the world lost, erased by the fog. In order to mend the fabric of what land still remained, we entrusted six elders with six precious archstones. One to the king of a small yet diligent land. One to the king of the burrowers underground. One to the wise queen of the great ivory tower. One to the chieftain of lost and ill-fortuned souls. One 
to the shaman of the tempest worshipping shadowmen, and the last to the great giants of the northern lands. The archstones were placed at nodes across the earth. We contained the old one inside this nexus and banned the soul arts. Finally, we became monumentals, half-living sentinels of the fabric of reality. Alas, the other monumentals have perished, and only I remain. Now it is your turn. You must lull the old one back to its slumber and seal it away for all eternity. If not, the deep fog will absorb all that we know. Have you the strength to accept this mission? Yes, we are fortunate indeed to have you. Now, go forth and destroy every last demon. The old one, without demons to feed its souls, will a new servant seek and lure you to its bosom. We neutralized the old one and banned the soul. However, the monumentals perished and the and the short the monumentals perished and the archstone and the short-sighted king Brave soul, who fears not death. Prithee, lull the old one back to its ancient slumber. What is it? Dost thou seek soul power? So be it. After all, thou requirest strength. Go forth, touch the demon inside me. Let these ownerless souls become thine own. ether, soul of the lost withdrawn from its vessel. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended, so the world might be mended. Thank <laughs> you. 
here to tend to the flames. I keep the candles lit and serve the brave demon slayers who are trapped here. Soul of the mind, key to life's ether. 
art thou done? May thine strength help the world be mended. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 